segment, I'm at the McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona. McCormick Stillman Railroad Park opened in 1975 to the public. The 30 acre park sits on land that was donated in this to the city in 1967 by the Flower McCormick family. The jewel of the park is the 15 inch scale standard Paradise and Pacific Railroad. The train runs year round with rides. Also, McCormick Stillman Railroad Park is located on Indian Bend Road in Scottsdale, Arizona. The park is open every day year round, open and open till six in, around six in the evening. And during the holiday lights event, they're open all evening and you can ride the train and see the lights. It's just beautiful when riding the train at night. And they have lights up and the decorations are taken down and put away and put in storage when the event is over. Also, when this place was around, the 15 inch gauge tracks layout was a lot different than it was before. Also, the live steamers trains you can also ride and they're only on weekends and they're on the other at one end of the park. And you can also explore the model trains and a museum as well. What you see right behind me is Missouri Pacific 13150. Missouri Pacific 13150 was built originally for the Missouri Pacific Railroad. Missouri Pacific 13150 is steel off-center caboose, tower caboose, and was used on freight trains and on the Missouri Pacific Railroad. Also, it was then renumbered and renamed Texas and Pacific 2587. Also, and also the wheels and axles of this caboose were like either destroyed or are used somewhere as an example artifact. Also the caboose, this caboose, that McCormick Stillman Railroad Park it has been repainted, renumbered as Paradise and Pacific 100,000, Also, this caboose is even standing here as an entry ornament. Also, this caboose has been standing here since, I believe, since 2010. What you see right behind me is Missouri Pacific 13028. Missouri Pacific 13028 was built in 1951. And also, Missouri Pacific 13028 is a steel cupola center tower caboose used on freight trains and also the wheels and axles of this caboose were like either destroyed or are used in somewhere as an example artifact. Also this caboose was formerly numbered Great Northern 283 and also wheels and axles. It was renumbered and renamed Missouri Pacific 13028 then renumbered Missouri Pacific 12283. And also this caboose you can find angle parked at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and has been repainted and renumbered as Paradise and Pacific 42065. And the number on the cupola caboose says 065. Also this caboose is even standing here as an entry ornament. Also, this caboose has been standing here, I believe, since 2010. What you see right behind me is Magma Arizona 6. Magma Arizona 6 was built by Baldwin in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1907 and is the 318-89 steam locomotive built in that factory and is a 260 mobile type steam locomotive. Magma Arizona 6 weighs 151,500 pounds and 134,000 pounds on its 59 drivers. 
and oil is an oil burner. It's 21 by 26 inch cylinders. It operated with a at its boiler a boiler pressure of 200 psi, delivering 33,607 pounds tractive effort. Magma Arizona 6 hauled copper ore from Superior to Magma Arizona for 38 years. Magma Arizona 6 has hauled copper ore from has served the mining railroads of Arizona for 54 years. Magma Arizona 6 then retired in 19 January 1960, when Magma Arizona 6 came out of the factory, it was Arizona and New Mexico Railway 26. Then leased to the El Paso and Southwestern Railroad, and it was number 130. Then in 1922, it was then renumbered as Magma Arizona 6, which it is now. Originally, Magma Arizona Also, Magma Arizona 6 then came to live here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and is put on display. Also, Magma Arizona 6 is the only surviving Magma Arizona 260 today. It is seen here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park for static display. What you see right behind me is Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 197-148. Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 197-148 was built in 1914. It was originally a sleeping car, then converted to being a baggage car, and was used on heavyweight passenger trains in the past. Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 197-148 was also used for carrying baggage during World War II. Then Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 197-148 was retired and came to live at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And also, it is on a static display and is part of the museum area the park. And also, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 197-148 has exhibits inside for viewing as part of the museum area of the park. What you see right behind me is the Pullman Ronald Amundsen coach. The Pullman Ronald Amundsen coach was built by the Pullman Car Company in 1928. This coach was donated to Scottsdale Railroad and Mechanical Society by Mr. and Mrs. Ron Sally. It is one of six cars built by <coughs> Pullman Car Company in 1928. The Pullman Ronald Amundsen coach carried presidents of the United States on board, which were Herbert Hoover, Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman, and Dwight Eisenhower. President Eisenhower used the car exclusively during the Whistle Stop campaign in 1952. On August 18, 1940, the President Roosevelt and Canadian Prime Minister W.L. Mackenzie King met and usual and met mutually agreed to Og Ogdensburg De Declaration, a declaration that provided the joint defense of North America in the event of the foreign invasion. That was the beginning of the North American and Air Defense. It was donated to the park in 1971 and is on display at, and part of the museum area of McCormick Stillman Railroad Park here in Scottsdale, Arizona. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific 10. Paradise and Pacific 10 was built by Bill Daney in Pablo, Cal Colorado in 1980 and is a 460 10-wheeler type steam locomotive and it's Track gauge is 15 inch scale. Also it runs on Paradise and Pacific Railroad at McCormick Stillman and burns propane as fuel. Also Paradise and Pacific 10 came to be at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and to be one of the star 
attractions at the park and is one of the steam engines that operate here on the weekends. And when the holiday lights are on, Paradise and Pacific 10 is like is like one of the crown jewels of the park and railroad. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific 11. Paradise and Pacific 11 was built by Bill Daney in Pueblo, Colorado in 1956 and is a 282 Mikado type steam locomotive and its track age is 15 inch scale. Also, it runs on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and burns propane as fuel. Also, Paradise and Pacific 11 came to be part of McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and be one of the star attractions at the park and is one of the steam engines that operate here on the weekends and when the holiday lights are on. Also, Paradise and Pacific 11 is like one of the crown jewels of the park and also it had a green boiler jacketing. It has a green boiler jacketing currently and it once had a black one. What you see right behind me is Denver and Rio Grande 1205. Denver and Rio Grande 1205 is a replica gondola and is used here on the McCormick Dillman Railroad Parks Paradise and Pacific Railroad here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And also, 1205 is runs on the 15-inch gauge track here at McCormick Stillman and also it's one of the several gondola cars here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the Paradise and Pacific. What you see right behind me is Carson in Colorado 301. Carson in Colorado 301 is a 15-inch gauge gondola car here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. Also, Carson in Colorado 301 is one of the several gondola cars used here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the Paradise and Pacific. It's a resemblance replica of any gondola car, and I just like how well it's detailed like the other ones are here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. What, what you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 52. Paradise and Pacific number 15, 52 is one of the riding gondola cars, one of the several gondola cars here used on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the 15 inch gauge trackway. Also, Paradise and Pacific 52 is like built by the McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and I just like how detailed. It's one of the red cars here at McCormick Stillman. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 53. Paradise and Pacific number 53 I believe was built by the Paradise and Pacific McCormick Stillman Railroad Park here in Scottsdale, Arizona. It is one of the several gondola cars here at the park that operates on, runs on the 15 inch gauge track here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And also it's one of the red cars here at the park and the tints are very different than the others. What you see right behind me is Rio Grande Southern number 125. This gondola car is the brown gondola car and I believe it's not the only brown gondola car here, but it's a like a replica gondola car here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And my belief is that it was built by the park and the Paradise and Pacific Railroad is customly made. Also, it's one of the several riding gondola cars here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. What you see right behind me is Denver and Rio Grande 5607. Denver and Rio Grande 5607 is a replica of like one of the Denver and Rio Grande cattle cars. And also, this cattle car is one of the three cattle cars, stock cars, or cattle cars, whatever you desire to call them, 
here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad. Also, this cattle car has been the right space for kids to ride in. And also it's the right size for kids, not people my size, of course. <laughs> also, it's the black one here. And the other two are not this color. And also, it's just like one of the cattle cars used behind the train sets at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 20. Paradise and Pacific number 20 is a bobber caboose and is a replica of one. And also, it is even one of two cabooses on the 15 inch track gauge at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad. Also, number 20 has been behind train sets at McCormick Stillman and is also used, used it even sometimes during normal operations or just um, the holiday lights and everything. And also the cupola is in the center of the caboose and also it's painted red and I just like how they have this as part of the train set. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 55. Paradise and Pacific number 55 is one of the several gondolas here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park used on the 15 inch gauge trackway. Also, unlike it's the yellow gondola and unlike to the wooden gondolas, it's one of two of its type here, but you see it has doors and it has side benches instead of benches across from the pit of the other gondolas. And it's not the only one here. There's also another one like it. It's the only yellow gondola here and it's got blue benches and it's well detailed. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 43. Paradise and Pacific number 43 is a red gondola car used on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad. Also, it's one of the red gondola cars and one of the several gondola cars here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And I believe it was built by the park in the Paradise and Pacific. Also, it is even used on train to give visitors rides around the park. What you see right behind me is Nevada, California, and Oregon 221. Nevada, California, and Oregon 221 is, a, is one of the gondola cars here at the Paradise and Pacific Railroad in Scottsdale, Arizona at McCormick Stillman. And also it's one of the brown cars here. And it's even used for hauling visitors around the park on the 15 inch gauge track. And it's one of the several gondolas here at the park. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 51. Paradise and Pacific number 51 is one of the riding cars, gondola cars, one of the several riding gondola cars here at the park. Also, number 51 is one of the red cars here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad on the 15 inch gauge track. Also, 51 is even used for hauling people, visitors around the park on the Paradise and Pacific 15 inch gauge track. Also, it's even used around the park on train sets on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad as well. What you see right behind me is Southern Pacific number 1550. 
Southern Pacific 1550 is one of the gondola cars and is one of the red gondola cars here at Paradise and Pacific at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and is part of the train sets here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and used for hauling visitors around the park. And also, sometimes it is part of, it is arranged by any consist of the train sets at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number one. Paradise Pacific and Pacific number one is a replica 15 inch gauge baggage car and is one of the pieces here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. It was even used for decorations during lights event, all day lights event in the back of the park. Also, this baggage car was even used for to give kids kids rides around the park. Also, I may be a little too big to fit inside and it might be the right side for kids to ride. Also, I just like it's the it's a the only 15 inch gauge passenger car on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad, I believe. And also, I just like how well it's detailed. What you see right behind me is Union Tank Line Company number 1505. Union Tank Line Company is number 1505 is the only, like the only tanker car on the 15 inch gauge track and here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and it's the only tanker car that can be found at the Paradise and Pacific Railroad at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park here in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's also a replica of, of a box car, of a tanker car and also of a Union Tank Line tanker car and also it's well detailed as a replica and I'm just like how it is. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 100. Paradise and Pacific number 100 is one of the three stock cars or cattle cars whatever you desire to call them at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and it has been used on the train sets before here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona. Also, Paradise and Pacific 100 is one of the two red stock cars here at McCormick Stillman and is even used for the right size for kids to fit inside and also I may be too big to fit inside <laughs> and also it's even the amount of space for kids to sit inside, right size for kids and for kids to ride inside. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 207. Paradise and Pacific 207 was built by Guy Stillman and Chuck Schlosser in 1953 and is a 15 inch scale model of an SW8. Paradise and Pacific number 207 is the yellow diesel at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and operates on the 15 inch scale track at the park and where there are times during weekdays it is scheduled to run and faces backwards when it pulls the train.
visit the museum area and take a gander inside as well. I just like to how it looks and it may look realistic as if like as if you're waiting for a train to pull into the station if you're on the platform side. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 209. Paradise and Pacific 209 was built in 2002 by Custom Locomotive and Paradise and Pacific Railroad and is a GP38. Also, Paradise and Pacific 209 is the blue diesel at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and operates on the 15 inch scale track at the park. And there are times during weekdays it is scheduled to run. What we see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 60. Paradise in Pacific number 60 is one of the green gondola cars and one of the several gondola cars here at the Farmick Stillman Railroad Park on the 15 inch scale train track. And also, it's part of the, one of the train classes, however they're sorted. What you see right behind me is Paradise in Pacific number 61. Paradise in Pacific number 61 is a resemblance basic replica of a gondola car and is one of the blue gondola cars here at the park. Also, Paradise in Pacific number 61 is one of the gondola cars that operates on the, runs on the 15 inch scale trackway here in McCormick Stillman Railroad Park as part of this train consist. Right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 56. Paradise and Pacific 56 is one of the on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad. And also it's unlike to the other gondolas. Instead of the sides connect seats connected to each side, it's got sideways seats. And you've got a door for you to step right in. There's also another car like it, except it's a painted a different color. This is one part of the train set here. This is Cormac Stillman Railroad Park. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific number 45. Paradise and Pacific number 45 is one of the brown gondola cars here at Cormac Stillman Railroad Park. And it's a, basically a replica of a gondola car. And also, it is used as part of the train set at McCormick Stillman on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad. It is one of the riding cars in several gondolas here. What you see right behind me is Paradise and Pacific. Paradise and Pacific number 50 is one of the brown gondola cars here on the 15 inch scale track at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And also, it's part of Great way, it's part of the train set here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. What you see right behind me is Colorado and Southern 7035. Colorado and Southern 7035 is a replica cattle car, stock car, whatever you want to call it. Also, it is a 15 inch scale replica of one of a Colorado and Southern cattle car. This cattle car is the two red cattle cars of the Cormac Stillman Railroad Also, it is even the right size for kids to ride aboard, but I may be too big to fit inside. Also, it's a good way to be part of one of the cattle cars to be part of the train. What you see right behind me is Paradise in the Pacific number 25. Paradise in the Pacific number 25 is a 15 inch scale Museum. And also, this building that we just walked into was formerly called, was formerly a model train store until 2009, until summer of 2009. 
was Roy's, Roy's Train Depot. Roy's Train Depot went out of business here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and also had the museum has grown a lot and has added more exhibits and so they needed more room. So if you see behind me, these are some old railroad tools, shovel, pig, broom, axe. What a giant wrench. And here's some tongs. You can see they are tied down to the wall so they like hanging from the wall like that. Okay, and you also see this thing here is a an old fashioned motor car, and that's a pump car where you pull it back and it moves down the line. And you can see that's a picture of a man doing that. And also, on the shelf, you can see there's an oiling can. And on the wall, you can see that's a Baldwin Builder's Plate. On the steamer built in 1904. Chicago Berlin, Tin and Quincy logo. Union Pacific logo. Seaboard and yeah. Airline, yeah. Yeah, and Chicago Northwestern, and so many things. And this glass here you see is Hi. is of the um, yes, ma'am. Is of all the that one is Magna Arizona number ten. A picture of it. It is currently at the Arizona Railway Museum, which is up in Chandler. Here's some pictures of number six being trans transferred to McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. And it's outside, right in front of the green coaches. And there are a lot of things here, interesting history to learn about it. This place. And what you see right here, this is a picture of two duplicates of the Southern Pacific 4449, and there's only one. There was never a duplicate of the 4449. You can also find Southern Pacific Daylight 4449, and it lives at the Oregon Rail Heritage Center in Portland, Oregon. And this was when 4449 was painted into the red, white, and blue color, and here's what it looks like, and it's actual scheme, and I just like how it looks. Let's take a look around some more. You can see right here, this is a, an electric motor car that was like used in a mine a long time ago. Also, it was, yeah, we're gonna go back out. This is like the generator car, this yellow one. Locked down because we can't mess with it. We pass it to the right here. Good afternoon. All right, thank you. Also, we see you're on display at the museum. Okay. Also, what's right here? This is called a telegraph communicator thing. So let me show you. I might. And as you could see, I typed in on the telegraph thing, Matthew Lap Train Guy. You can see how it works, just like in the old days. Also, you can see right here, conductor and pulpit, conductor and brakeman's hats, and old telegraphs. We called a Northern Pacific passenger train. And 
this old item. And here's a painting of a train going over a bridge. There's a lot of old items here. You can find here at the Scottsdale Railroad Museum. Okay, you can see here, here's some, these look like treasure chests, but they are suitcases. And here's a tele, telegraph. There's a telescope I need. Also, the telescope. So, here's a mannequin conductor and some suitcases, luggage, and some bags. A lot of these, pretty cool. There's a lot of picture frames on the wall. Here's like a Pennsylvania Railroad T1. None of them ever survived, but they are planning to, to make a replica of one. We're hoping by 2030 or earlier, they have it finished. And they are working on it right now. And here are some Pennsylvania Railroad steam engines. Working on the Pennsylvania Railroad 6825, and I can't tell which one that is. So, here are some black and white photos of the trains of when they were hauling freight on the Pennsylvania Railroad in the past. Also, this is the, these seats here are for theater viewing, and also, where you can also see, watch on TV. And it's currently talking about the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 3751, which is usually stored in San Bernardo, which is in Los Angeles, California, in the rail yard at Amtrak's yard, and also, you can see they're even discussing the Santa Fe and railroad as well. Also, this is the Haybrook's machine shop, and it was this shop was built in 1930. There are a lot of machines in there, it's blocked off because they're not supposed to be in there. Just look inside. Also, you can find more exhibits in the baggage car, so come along, let me show you. Also, you can see behind me, since we got into the baggage car, this is where most of the exhibits are seen, more other exhibits. So, you can see this is... So, with that button, you can see that locomotive go, a white castle Yukon diesel. And also, see back here, this is a guy, he has a probably still in the part of his name. He's using an old-fashioned typewriter. You can see that light, that green line turned on. And it's letting you see very well. Also, all this, you could see that's an Omaha Platte Valley route sign. And here's a lot of old pictures. Here's Magma, Arizona, number six. Like, when it was working, and the, that colored picture shows where it is currently, which it's here at McCormick Stillman. And here are a lot of other items. Here's some old railroad brochures, and also they are here seen as a good way. And here's an old lantern. Also here's a lot of teacups. And here's the friend French boxcar that's here. And that picture is Chicago Aurora and Elgin number 420. And here a lot of old pictures. And a lot of others. That's President Eisenhower on the Ronald Amundsen coach. And a lot other interesting items. And this lady, this mannequin, is Harvey Girl, 1890. She is dressed up as somewhere in the old days. And you could see that picture down there is Southern 1401. 
it, it is in a Southern Streamline passenger train. You can also find Southern 1401 at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. And it was built by Alco. Okay, what I'm here to show you, this is the Model Railroad Building, and also, as you can see, this building was like finished sometime and was worked on in spring of 2011, and like finished sometime in 2011, and as you can see behind me, this, this here, shows a lot of different like a 3D cartoon thing, like you'd expect to see on the <laughs> opening chain song. So they TV show. <laughs> but I like pretty cool how they made this. They're different scales. I'm going to start by showing you the model railroads in the building. And also, Let's take a look around. This is the O scale model railroad club, the line L trains. O scale. And this is the Paradise and Pacific Club. It's like how well they have it all detailed. You can see all the things they have running. So many. And also, see they got a lot of buildings, tunnels and tracks laid out and lots of trains. And also, the Union Station. That's the biggest tunnel over there. They even have a basketball bridge as they come inside. Also, you could see right there is a Jersey and Western Railway train and that has like a president on it. This train is called J.B. Turner and it's number 249. See? And here are some old rail cars. Central Railroad of New Jersey. And a boxcar of Jersey Central. And here's a live steam train. And this is Seattle and Scottsdale, number 10. Maybe it's like the right size for the live steamers here. And here's an old caboose, box car, I mean passenger cars, and such. And you could also see on this wall, here's a portrait of a model train. That's Virginian, number 2329. And here's a portrait of some Alco diesels. That's Natchez and Topeka and Santa Fe on the left. And here's a Golden Streamline diesel here. Fifth Truth sent Christmas for electric trains. Wow. 1950. Okay, you can see here this is the end scale and this is the Sun and Sand Model Railroad Club. Also, we have a lot of things detailed here. The end scale is what I'm mostly into. Also, you can see all this stuff. All these trains they want here. This is all detailed. Also, we have a very, very long Size, size, steam locomotive. It's 
number 10, but it's not the number 10 that operates on the Paradise and Pacific Railroad, of course. Also, this seem like I think it's made out of wood. And also, seeing as it, it's coming out of that wall up there, there are TV shows up there that are um, cartoons like Porky Pig. Porky Pig's Railroad. This literally has the other screen shows. Um, model Railroad, model trains, and it's also played Thomas the Tank Engine episode, Tickle Pink, and some other train episode, train videos as well. What you see right behind me is Paris Lines in Mediterranean. J57981. Paris Lines in Mediterranean J57981 was built by Chantiers de la Bury in Lyons, France around the 1800s and is a four-wheel boxcar and also it is and is also known as the Mercy Train Gratitude boxcar and is one of 49 boxcars shipped from France to USA and also this boxcar is one of 49 given to USA from France as a gift of thank you to the goodwill of the American public in wing World War II. Americans donated goods and materials to fill 250 railroad cars, cars railroad cars which were then delivered to war. There may be a lot of Mercy box cars still out scattered in the USA and wherever they're located in states that may still be around. Alabama, Arizona, which is right here. Arkansas, California, Colorado, that one is currently missing. Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, that one is currently missing. Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, <coughs> Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. And those are the 45 that are still all around, and two of them are missing somewhere, like I've mentioned. Also, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Nebraska, New Jersey's boxcars got destroyed by fire or have been scrapped. <clears throat> also, 45 are preserved in the USA and 4 are gone. And this one is right here at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona. Southern Pacific 4220 was built by International Car Company in Kenton, Ohio in 1963 and is a C40-5 steel bay window caboose. Also, this caboose was one of the original 1600 series caboose and it was also used as the train crew's office when being used on freight trains on the back of freight trains for the Southern Pacific Railroad many years ago. Also, Southern Pacific 4220 was reti then retired and then came to McCormick Stillman Railroad Park and is used as a concession, a concession stand and even a good way to be seen here as well, where it is preserved.
The Santa Fe Prescott in Phoenix Aquila Depot was built in 1907 by the Santa Fe Prescott and Phoenix Railroad. It was served by the Santa Fe Prescott and Phoenix Railroad, which was a common carrier railroad that later became an operating subsidiary of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway in Arizona, and it even served for passenger service on the railroad and was used for passengers to buy a ticket and go on a train to somewhere or to arrive on a train from somewhere and riding trains coming in and out of Aquila. Then later on it was retired and in the 1970s <clears throat> was moved from Aquila, Arizona to McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona and Today, it is used as Hartley's General Store at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it is where it serves food, and it is also a gift shop, and one of two gift shops in the park as well. Okay. Right here, this is the bell outside the museum, and if you're trying to remove it, the clapper will not even move since it's stationary. You can see there's a plaque right here, presented to Henry S. Sturgis, and if you ever come here, read the rest. Oh, it says Harry right here, Harry Lackawanna, this belt's from. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Peoria Depot was built in 1895 by the Santa Fe Prescott and Phoenix Railroad. Also, this train depot was used for passengers to buy a ticket and go on a train to somewhere or to arrive on a train from somewhere. And riding on the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe trains coming in and out of Peoria its original location was on 83rd Avenue, just off of Grand Avenue in Peoria, Arizona. Then, later on, <clears throat> it was retired and in 1974 was moved from Peoria, Arizona and was dismantled and rebuilt after it was moved to this spot and was a model train store as it was Jerry's Trains and Tools model railroad store. Then it was renamed and was Roy's Train World model train shop and was 
a model train store till summer of 2009 and Roy's Train World, train world was relocated to a new location and when the museum's collection was expanding, it soon became part of the museum and in the park and has some of the collection housed inside the depot as it is today. Paradise Electric Railway 10 was built as a 15-inch scale trolley, and this re is a replica of a streetcar that, like, ran in Chicago, like in the mid-1800s. Also, it was in the museum a long time ago, and even used as an ornament to be moved around for viewing, and I believe it is standing right here as its final resting spot in the model railroad building at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park. Also it used to be seen in the museum for display. Also even kids play inside it and possibly grown-ups even if there's room. Okay so here's the live steamers area. We are gonna
looks like the shed where they store the trains as well. Go by. It's a steam engine running, and it's a. And I filmed this on a weekend, which is on a Saturday. Here goes Elvin going by. Gondolas, Colorado and Southern cattle car, stock car I should say, and caboose number 25. And there it goes. Hutchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 188-119 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a box car. This car was used on freight trains carrying boxes and other kinds of loads whenever being used on the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad many years ago. Then sometime in the late 1990s, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 188-119 was retired and was put in this spot at McCormick-Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, Arizona and is even used for storage purposes and also it is here in this spot and near the back entrance of the train shed. Okay, you can see right here. And this is the mostly enters, but during Chris while riding the train while the Christmas lights are on here, which is in the area around here, the 